<sighs> Good afternoon. I just came on just for a short moment. <sighs> just wanted to know how everybody feel today. And how your weekend was. And hope you read, read your word today. And thank God for waking us up this morning. How without him, we wouldn't have made it. This, um, let's read, um, I think it's Michael, verse 11. I mean, chapter 11, verse 28 and 29 and 30. <clears throat> uh, it said, come on, come on to me, all, all the, hold on. Come on to me, all ye that are laden and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and leave it. Of, of me, for I am mitten and lonely in the heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. So God telling us whatever you might be carrying, that out of your control, He said, give it to Him. He said, give it to Him. He said, give it to Him. So I will read it. Um. Let me get this verse that I um had wrote down. Because I tried to write some of them down. And this is saying, um, in Isaiah 54, 17, it said, No weapon formed against you of God. No, no, no. Hold on. I, I went up too far. It said, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And will refuse every time that uh, actually I mean every time that where I'm at Isaiah 54 17 let me go back up no weapon formed against you shall prosper and will prepare let me get the Bible because I wrote it down and I'm not even understanding my own handwriting hold on I write fast hold on Isaiah <coughs> Now sometimes you be writing stuff down so fast. Isaiah 54. Verse um, 17. <clears throat> it said, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against you, rise up against thee in judgment, they shall condemn. This is the habit of the servant of the Lord, and his righteous is of me, said the Lord. So he was telling you, he telling you right there, it says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. All these people backbiting you, talking about you, telling lies about you. It's just like a shield. It bounces it out. That's the whole armor of God. It bounces right back off you. It bounces it out. Because God said, no weapon from against you shall prosper. Okay, um, let's go to, let's go to, um, Roman, Roman, uh, 831. You know, people get so big-headed, you, you can't tell them what to do. So, you no, know, this was God saying. 31. And also, I'm going to read 38, too. Okay, let's go to 31. It said, What shall we that say to them thing? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spare not his own son, but deliver him up from us, all how shall he not 
with him also freely give us all things. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God elected? It is God that profound. Who is he that condemned? It is Christ that died yet raised that it is rising again. So no God died, but he's rising again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also may intercede for, for us? Who shall spare us from the love of Christ? Who said who said trembling on the tree or pro prosecute 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 or famine or nakedness or prevailing our soul sorrow as it is written for for that sake we are killed at all the days long but we are all counted as sheep for slaughter. Nay, is also those things we are more we conquest through him that love us. For I am prosecuted that near death, nor light, nor angel, nor principality, nor power, nor thing perceived, nor thing that come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to spare us from the love of Christ, love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So can't nobody stop you from serving God. Nobody. Only one who can stop you is yourself. No one but yourself. Let's go to a little bit up of up. Let's go to the eighteen. For I rebuke that thou suffering a proceed time or not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revelant in, in us for for their earnest aspect of the creator wait for the manifest of the son of god for for the creator was made subject to vend it nor willingly but by reason of him who has re subject the same in hope because their creator itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glory 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 label of the children of god for we know that the whole creator grown and trodden in pain together unto them and not only that but also also only that but ourselves also which have the first fruit of the spirit even ourselves growing within ourselves wait for the adoption to wait the redeemer of our body but we are saved by hope but hope that is sent is not hope, but for what a man seeking with both, he yet hope for. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patient wait for it? Likewise, the Spirit also help our infirmity, for we know not what we shall pray for as we often, but the Spirit itself may intercede for us with groaning and could not be uttered. And he that searches the heart know what is the mind of the Spirit, because it may intercede for its saint according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for the good for those that love God. And them who are called according to his purpose. So God said, no, I, I call people. He said, some are chosen, some is called. Some is chosen and some is called. <clears throat> he said, are they called according to their purpose? For who he did, for not. He, he also did 
prostituted it to the conformant to the image of the Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brief. Moreover, who who he did prostituted them he also called, and who he called that them he also justified, and who he justified then he also will glorify. So God said, no, I choose people to do my work. He chose you. And then he said, when I give you this, humble yourself. You must humble yourself in the word of God. Don't think that you can't be taught. I don't care if you're a preacher, pastor, whatever. It's all where you can be taught. God can always teach you something. Don't get to the point that you think you're not learnable. Don't never think you you um you're not learnable. Um Because you got demons that they can walk, they can hear, they can speak, they can see, they obey, they see, they think, they know, or of the devil. And the body, they're evil. No, just like I tell you, the devil always go to God. Because he's an angel. And God's still his master. So he go to God and let him know that. Maybe the thing that you're doing that you don't have to be, you, you don't supposed to be doing. Because the devil, he, what he do, he seek and he devour. What he do, he try to, when he on this earth realm, he seeking people who he can try to tell your relationship, tell your marriage up, tell the love in the family uh, apart. So he put, try to put, keep seeing there. You know, some of y'all got to uh, 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 bring them open sins out and repent to these things. You got to let it go. Because if you don't, you put it in a bondage. And bondage is like you got it so much heavy on you till you can't even trust nobody. You can't even. You can't be yourself. You want to be like somebody else. Like, like God put you here to, to be like somebody else. No, you your own vision or person. God gave you give. God gave you telling. To speak and do the thing that you need to do for yourself. Stop trying to go along and be like somebody else. When God said, I gave you gift, I gave you talent. You can, you you have the same thing that they have. So you prosper in your area. I remember um one of the pastors used to tell us tell us when in church I went to, he said, stay in your lane. Don't try to do what somebody else do. Just stay in your lane that God put you through. Stay in your lane, he said. Um, hmm. I want to let me see what it is. <sighs> hmm. I think I got this in my, one of my other tablets. I can't find out what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm trying to think. It's something I wrote down. I can't think where it's at right now. Um, mm -mm. But um, only thing I can tell you. Always be your person. Don't go out there and try to be like somebody else. Because it worked for that person. That don't mean it's going to work out for you. Do it your way. I'm trying to think what this scripture was. <sighs> Let's read... Um, Hmm. 
I cannot find that scripture. Mm, 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 mm. My God, my God. Um, bring it back to me, Father. I'm going to see if I pull it up. The scripture talking about when God uh, chose when God chose you. It said, "He shall, he should sh us out of His love and mercy." Oh no, that ain't it. What does it mean that God chose us before? No, that ain't it. That I want to say, ah, oh, what is it? Oh, I think it said those who chosen. Sorry, I didn't understand. The scripture in the Bible is saying, when God, those who are chosen. Okay, I think it is. It says some, some, some are choosing, some are chosen. Okay, um, I'm seeing King James. <laughs> okay, it's in Matthew twenty four thirty one. It said, and he shall send. His angel with great sound and trumpet. And this is how, for many are called. It's in Matthew 14. It says, For many are called, but fruit are chosen. For many are called, but fruit are chosen. Then when the pariah and took counsel, how that might. Okay. I'm trying to get the rest of the verse. Um, for men are called, but fruit are chosen. This is in, um, in um, King James Version. In Matthew um, 22, verse 14. Okay. And this was said, For out of all to whom the good news had come, only a small number will get salvation. So read, it's in Matthew verse 22, verse um, 14. Like it said, for many are called, but a fruit are chosen. God said, he, he said, I, I choose. You know, you just can't go up and get on a platform. You can't go up and get on uh, uh, the altar and saying, God told you this. God told you this. God said, you had to be chose to be able to do the things I tell you to do, said the Lord. You just can't jump up and go do this stuff. You be out of order. So be careful, people, who getting up on the platform and saying, God told y'all do this. And y'all, even if God... Even if, if, if y'all might not even go to God and ask God, y'all just got on here and start doing it. You better be careful. Be careful because God already said a fruit of chosen. Fruit of call and. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this verse down, but I won't forget the, um, the chapter again. Ugh. What I did, my. Uh, but yeah, um, like I said, you have to be in order and stay in your lane because if you don't stay in your lane, that means you're disobedient. And you can't judge nobody or God said he'll judge you. Um, what is my ink pen? Yeah, he says, you know... I tell you, you, you have to listen to what God tells you to do. 
Because like I tell you, if you don't, you've been out of order. And out of order is a consequence that you're going to go through. It's a consequence of everything that you do. It's just like when your parents tell you to do something and you want to do it your way. It's a consequence. It's a law of God telling you you're being disobedient. So I want you to continue you know, listen to what God tells you to do because you don't want to be in that consequence. And God ain't nothing to play with. So I'm telling you people, be careful. <clears throat> when you up there saying God this, God that, when you don't understand what God telling you, there's a price that you're going to have to pay. Don't get up here because you see another person get up on this, on the, uh, um, on YouTube, uh, Facebook. God telling you, a fruit of you. He said, for, for our call, but fruit are chosen. That's in Matthew 22, 14. He telling, look, some of y'all is not even called to do this, but y'all on this platform trying to do God be careful because if you ain't got the Holy Spirit and doing what God wants you to do be careful I'm telling you be careful and God was saying in um, Matthew 11 28, 29, and 30. He said, catch your cap on him. Catch your cap on him. <clears throat> because everything that have you bound down, you got to release that. Some of y'all holding unforgiveness, sin on you. <clears throat> Some of y'all is holding grudges against people. You got to pray for your enemy. You got to pray for um, your family, your bosses. You got to pray for your relationship, your marriage. And ask God to help you. Show me how to be a better wife. Show me how to be a better husband. Show me how to raise my kids. Show me, God, how to be a zenable to my husband. Show me how to love my husband. Show my husband how to love me. Show me how to be forgiving of a forgiveness wife. Show me how to love the proper love. Hello. Yo, how you doing? I'm online right now. Let me call you back. Okay. No. Mm -mm. All right. Yeah. All right. No. Show me how to. To. Look presentable as a wife when I go in when I'm inside the house and when I'm outside the house. Show me how to love my husband that Dolphin kind of love God, the love that you give me each and every day for the thing that we have done and your eyesight was not pleased with you. Show me, Father, before I go to bed, we say a prayer together that we won't go to bed angry with one another.
show me how to continue praying for the, my enemy who's spiteful and do me wrong. Show me how to truly forgive that burden that was heavy for me. That's why I'm giving you Matthew, 20, Matthew 11, verse 28, 29, and 30. All that burden that got you so heavy that, that you can't trust nobody. You don't know how to love nobody. This well got you so bound up and, 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 and your friends and, and all this other stuff. It to, this world now is to the time you can't trust nobody. Your family member, your, your relationship, your marriage. It, it, it's like a deceitful world to, to the time that people got cameras everywhere they got um they got um uh, phone uh recording people that's why i tell y'all these men who cheating and these women who cheat you're gonna get caught you're gonna get caught so you need to let that stuff alone god said you should look your only man you should love if you marry is your husband your eyes should look up on him if it's to the point that you want to go out and, and, and be with somebody else, what you going to get? You going to get the same thing? If you communicate, communicate with that man or that woman, why you can't do it with your own husband as a couple to talk to one another? you got to learn how to have that relationship with your husband to be able to talk to him like you did when you first met. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. A man wants you to communicate with them. They want love. They want that bun. Just like you do as a woman. We want that bun. It ain't about money all the time. It just want true and, and trust. Because money going to come with it later. But a woman and a man, we want the truth and we want that love. Now, women, y'all so y'all don't got a job to to y'all try to pull men down. This my conversation is I'm talking to the men today. Women, y'all pulling your men down. Y'all y'all taking his pride from him. Y'all taking his uh manhood. What I say because of that, they want to do the thing they want to do. But y'all got better job and all this. Y'all throw it up in their face each and every day. I don't need you. I don't want you. I can do this by myself. Y'all don't know what mindset they put into a man. That break a man down. It breaks them down to they feel like this. God said when you speak up to a man or woman, build a step of steam higher. I know, baby, you could do this. I know that we can work this together, that we can have this together. Don't tear nobody down. Help build them up, even in the stage that what they at now. Show them. How. If you don't understand, go to God. Say, God, this is my relationship. I'm coming to you. Show me how to build, build my man up, my husband up as well. And he showed me how to build our family up. Some people I hear things on them or things that coming against them to the point that some of them doing suicide. Some of um, them it, 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 it is into like a little shell. They don't know how to come out. Be careful how you treat people in that lower point of life. It's just like a boomerang. It's come back. Because you up high and they down low. What I'm telling you, it's a shift going to come. And you're going to miss out how you treated that person when they were down and out. With the thing that you did to that person. It's going to be a shift now. Because you up now, that don't mean you're going to stay up. 
You better pray for that relationship. You better pray for that marriage. You better pray for that loved one who lost in your family. You better pray for the, the body of Christ. You better pray for the uh, city, state, and the nation. You better pray for these things because God told us we as adult poets, we should be able to pray for these people and in the scene on their behalf as a body of Christ. It ain't all about you. God said, hey, win souls and make disciples. He said, we must pray for the people. And you got to come humble as a child. Ask God, when you go to sleep at night, what is my next test that you want me to do for the next day? God, I need you to guide me, direct me, show me what you want me to say to your people. Because a lot of things, you got to ask the Holy Spirit to intercede. Because he said, when you speak in tongue, you get in that relationship with God. And you telling God, I don't know what else to say, God. But as you pray in the Spirit, he gives you in the seed. And they think you know you're doing what he wants you to do. But you got to stay humble as a child to be able to God to use you. You get big head, what a big head person do? Pride. What pride do fall. You can't get too prideful in anything that you do. You will fall. Yeah, the bull shot da 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 here. Yeah, cross da da here. Let me give you the verse. What's what's Christian? What's Christian God talk about pride? <clears throat> it says that if while the scripture saying God support the pride but giving grace to the humble, and one Peter five five, young man in the same way. Submit to those who are older, and all of you close yourself with humble toward one another, because God's opting to pride will give grace into humble. Then it said in the IV version, it said, "Quote him as saying to the Chronicle, I take." Great pride in you. 2 Chronicles 7 4 say, and that he was giving them opportunity to take pride in us. Hold on. Take pride in us. 2 Chronicles 5 12 said, Paul wrote in Galatians 6 4, each one shall test his own action. Then he can take pride in himself. Okay, let's read. Let me get these scriptures down. Because pride, you will fall. He got some of. Okay, it was in. Um... It was in 2 Chronicles. Verse 7 and 4. Then it go into 2 Chronicle uh, 5 12. Then Galatians 6 4. I'm going to read that after I do this one. It says. What are the three types of pride? Diligent. Um, I'm gonna. It's a lot, so I'm gonna let this read it right quick. Three types of pride: dignity, superiority, and arrogance. Are dignity, surprise. Ingredients are singled out, and two experimental studies are presented showing that they are conveyed by different combinations of smile, eyebrow, and eyelid positions, and head posture. Hold on one second. It 
These are what the three I'm Dignity, talking about. Dignity, superiority, and arrogance. Dignity, support, arguing, arguing, and so how's to pronounce this one? Superiority. Superior augur arguing. And aggregate, aggregate. Oh, I can't pronounce this. But yeah, um, let's see. And this is the two, the ones that will make you hurt yourself. Pride. What the Bible say by pride? It's a sin. You can get so big headed. Pride is a sin. Spiritual pride is sin. Sin exploits our vulnerabilities, and this is made all the easier when our guard is down. As Christians, we are in particular danger when we begin to think that our spiritual maturity makes us invincible to specific temptations and sin. July 14, 2020. Did what God say about saying pride? It said, all of you close yourself with humble toward one another. Because God has pressed pride but giving. Okay, I just read down on that other scripture. Okay, well, well, man. In the Bible, it said pride. You got pride, you'll fall. In the Bible, where it talks about pride, you will fall. Hold on. It says, in Proverbs 16, 18, in the New Internation verse, in one of the 33, saying the chapter 16 of Proverbs, many of which remain reading, that wisdom and moral are to be preferred over pride or wealth. You know, he's saying a lot of y'all is more think about y'all pride is in y'all money. That's what he's saying in this verse, really. <clears throat> to break it down to you. Okay, let's go to 2 Chronicle. Okay, 2 Chronicle, uh, what they were, 7-4. So what he talking about? Hey, like, I said seven, four. It says, uh, "I speak not. This is a condemn you, condemn you, for I have said before that you are in our heart to die, a living with you." It said, "In our heart to dead." And lie with you. Grace is my bonded bondness of speaking toward you. Grace is my glory of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceedingly joy in in all of our trial. <clears throat> and let's go to um, chapter five in this. Chapter 5, verse 12. <clears throat> the first I mean, 11 said, Knowing therefore your terror or the Lord procures man, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also and may manifest in your cons your conscience, your conscience. For we command not ourselves again unto you, but give your conscience to glory on our behalf, that ye may have so what to answer them with glory in prepare and not in the heart. For where we be 
beside ourselves, it is to God. Or uh, where we be sub subject, it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constrain us, because we and those judge that if one die for all, then will all then with all <clears throat> that they which have which live should not hamper living unto themselves, but unto which dead for them and rise again. So God said, No, when you die, you will be rise again when judgment day come. We all gonna rise. What I mean, we all gonna be a place that he gonna let us know if we going to heaven or we going to hell. We all gonna rise. But unto them, unto him, which died from them and rose again. Wherefore, henceforth, his, his, his knowing we no man after the flesh, yet though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth, knowing we him, nor and know and we in him no more. Henceforth, it's okay. Let me go to sixteen again. It said, "Therefore, henceforth, knowing we, and no man after the flesh, yet those we have known Christ after the flesh, yet not, yet and now, henceforth, knowing we and him no more. Therefore, if any man be in." Christ, he is a new Christian. Old things are passed away. Old things mean how you used to be. The thing that you used to do, you don't, you ain't going to be able to do it no more. Because when you're with Christ, things change. Your ways are attitude. The way that you think, the way that you do is going to change. It will pass away. Behold, all things are become new. You start getting wisdom, start getting knowledge, girl, get understand. You you start recognize the thing that you used to do, you don't do it no more. And all things are but God who has recon recal I can't pronounce that word. Us from him, but by Jesus Christ, and have gave to us those ministry and recoronate recorded. To wait that God was in Christ, recourses the world unto himself, not him putting their trampass unto them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliate. I can't pronounce that word, but, but what it's saying is God saying, no, you're going to change your words, your attitude, the way that you speak. The way that you might used to be a person that go to club by the time it gonna be the time that you ain't gonna, your desire ain't gonna want to go there no more. Desire of a of, of mistreat women like you used to do them same women that you don't want to be bothered with them no more. Things change when you go with when you start living for God. The way the thing that you used to be is it, is it, it's, it's not that no more. No, it's just like when you're a child, you think like a child. But when you come up to be a duck, you start doing a duck thing. That's what I mean about this right here. And let's read Galatians 6, 4. And it says six four. Uh, but let every man prove his own work, provide his own work, and then he shall, and then shall he have reje rejoice in himself alone, and nothing in another. This what well, uh, have rejoice in him alone, and not in others, for every man shall bear. His own burden. Let him that 
touch in his word and communicate unto him that teaches is of all good things, but not descended. God is not mock, for whatsoever a man sought, that shall he weep. For he that sought it in the flesh shall of the flesh sweet reap a corrupt, but he that sought it in spirit shall of the spirit weep. Life everlasting, and let us not be weary in way of doing, but for in doing season we shall weep, if we faint not. So, I just gave you this little time to let you know. Like I said, some are chosen in, in Matthew, what I said, Matthew 22, 14, it said, Matthew 22 said, For many are called, but a few are chosen. So, no, like I said, you got to be careful how you try to get on the platform and trying to do God work. Because you know a scripture, that don't mean you know God. Because God says, a lot of y'all going to say, Lord, Lord. And he going to say, I know you not. So, I'm just trying to tell y'all, be careful. You might be doing it for... A uh, 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 publicity, God don't like that. God don't like you doing nothing that He's not getting the glory. So please be careful. So stay humble. You better ask God did He chose you to do the thing that you're doing? Cause if He not, it's a consequence coming behind it. And you like you got a lot of people falling behind you, and if you're not doing what God say do. In the right way. Like he said. A lot of y'all going to say you, you knew him. And he said you know me not. A lot of y'all going to say Lord Lord. And he going to say he know you not. Be careful. Jesus love you and so do I. Be blessed in holy favor.